I am Francesca. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am so excited for the recipe we are making and we are going to make Big Mac pierogi, okay? It comes with special sauce. It is filled with a vegan gravy filling with pickles and vegan cheese. And then we have some lettuce and the sesame seeds and then we dip it in special sauce. And it was so, so good. I'm really excited because I made my pierogi recipe probably about two years ago now, and it was also in my cookbook, and I love that recipe, and you guys really love it too, and so I'm really excited to bring you another delicious pierogi recipe. Of course, this is not traditional in any way. This is just a really fun way to have a little fun variation on it. As always, the full written out recipe is on my blog, and all the ingredients are listed out down below as well. There is also a link to order my cookbook, Plantiful, in the description box as well if you have not gotten your copy and is available internationally. I'm so proud of this book and my other pierogi recipe is in here and on my YouTube channel so I will have those linked for you all. And yeah, this recipe is so good. My sister who is not a vegan enjoyed them and ate five of the pierogi and I think you guys are really going to like them. So with all that being said, let's get into the video. Let's start off by making our dough. So I'm going to use all-purpose flour for this and I'm just running my spoon through to get out any clumps. Then we're going to add in a little bit of salt and just again mix that up, make sure it's well incorporated. Then we're going to add in olive oil and water. I like to add my water in in batches so that way I can just make sure if I need to add a little less or a little more, I can just kind of see what the dough is doing that day. And make sure your water's warm. It just helps the dough to be nice and soft and it's better to do it this way. So once it looks shaggy and like this and have little pieces, we are going to dump it out on a clean surface and then you're just gonna use your hands, make sure they're clean to knead your dough. And as I'm kneading, I can feel that the dough needs a touch more water. So I'm gonna add in about half a tablespoon more. And then I'm just going to keep kneading this dough for about three to five minutes until we get this nice smooth ball. As you can see, when I press down on it, it bounces back quite a bit. We need to give the gluten time to rest. So we're going to put it in a bowl and then cover it with some cling wrap. And you're gonna place that in the fridge for about 30 minutes or until you are ready to use it. So pop that in the fridge. Then we're gonna make our special sauce. So we're gonna combine all these ingredients first to start this off. And if you've made my Big Mac recipe, this is the same special sauce recipe, so good. And I'm using some vegan mayo. I'm using the one from Hellman's. You could use any vegan mayo you like. Add in your onion powder, apple cider vinegar, and then a little bit of salt and just give that a good mix until everything is well incorporated. It's going to be a little bit thin, but then as you put it back in the fridge to sit there, it'll thicken up. So don't worry about that. So just pop that in the fridge until you are ready to eat it and use it. So this is textured vegetable protein, and this is what's gonna be our vegan ground beef replacement. We're gonna add warm water to it, and it's gonna rehydrate itself. It's a really, really great replacement. I like to use it for a lot of things, and it's really awesome. You're just going to saute it in some olive oil, so the TVP has been rehydrated now. You can find it online. I'll have a link down below for it, or in, I think, like Whole Foods and stuff like that. And then you're gonna add in some dry chopped onion and a little bit of low sodium soy sauce. Then we're gonna mix that up. And then we are just going to add in some seasonings. We're gonna keep this pretty simple. It's gonna be garlic powder, a little bit of black pepper, some onion powder, followed up with a little bit of salt. Give that a mix and just continue to let that saute over like a medium low heat. And then I always tell you guys, make sure to taste your food if you can taste it. So we're gonna give a little taste and add things to preference. We are going to mix some vegan cheese in there and chopped pickles to make our cheeseburger filling, very simple. So I'm gonna take the dough out of the fridge now and we are going to get ready to roll it out. So I'm gonna put it on a clean surface and lightly flour it. It won't really need too much flour and just starts to roll it out very, very thin. You can also use a pasta machine to do this if you like but I don't mind doing it by the rolling pin. I don't know, there's something nice about it. So I'm just gonna roll it until it's about a quarter inch thin or as thin as I can get it. And again, you want this to be thin because as they boil, they will like kind of puff up a little bit. So it should look something like this. Then you can use a glass or a biscuit cutter to cut out your circles. I don't have a biscuit cutter, so I just go with a glass. I've done a mason jar lid, you know, we make do with what we got. So then I'm gonna take a sharp knife and just cut those circles out. Be careful doing this. I did cut myself in this process, so just be careful. You're gonna gather your scraps and we'll re-roll those out again to make more wrappers. And in the meantime, you can put the wrappers that you've already made just on a dish and cover those with a dish towel so nothing dries out. And you should get about 13 from this. So then I'm gonna show you how to make them. I already made a bunch of them off camera, but you're just gonna take one of your little pierogi wrappers and then just gently roll it out with your rolling pin. This just helps to stretch it out a little bit more. And then we're going to take about a heaping tablespoon of the filling and just pop it right in there. I try to keep it towards the center 
and then you're gonna line one half with water. This will help it stick together. Fold the top half over to make a nice little semi circle, a little half circle. And then you're just going to work really hard to seal this up. Use your fingers to press it down first to make sure all the filling and the air bubbles are not, you know, there's no air bubbles in there or anything like that. And the filling is getting sealed in. And then I'm just gonna pinch it really nice and tight. That way nothing explodes when we boil it. So you can see it's all nice and sealed up. So you will have leftover filling. You can either make more pierogi or you can use it for a bunch of fun things. So don't throw it out. So then these are our pierogi and we're going to go boil these. Now it's time to cook them. So you're going to boil them for about three to five minutes or until they float to the top. And you'll see the change in color as well. And they will like, like I said, they puff up, they expand. You could see they're a brighter white now. So just pop those somewhere to hang out and then you boil the remaining pierogi. I only like to do about six at a time. Then we're gonna make these crispy. So we're gonna add some olive oil back into our pan. You don't have to do this. You can just eat them boiled, but I highly recommend pan frying them and making them crispy. So you're just going to add them in the oil and I like to just give them a little shake. I'm gonna add some sesame seeds to keep up with our Big Mac theme here. And then you can see they get nice and crispy. Just kind of let them hang out for about five to seven minutes over a medium heat and just keep tossing them. Be gentle with them. They can still like rip, but they are much sturdier now. And I just love them when they're all golden and like this they look so beautiful and now it is time to plate it up so i just added some shredded iceberg lettuce to our plate along with our special sauce and you're just going to pop them on your plate and that's that's it that's all you got to do i love it having it with the iceberg lettuce because you just kind of like scoop it up in there and it feels like again like you're eating a burger like it's really really cool this is a very cool recipe and that's all you got to do and now you can enjoy And those are our delicious pierogi. I really hope you tried them out because they are so good. I literally was biting into it and I was like, this feels like I'm eating a burger. Like I know it should because that's the whole point of this recipe, but I was really, really shocked by it. So I think you guys will really enjoy it. Like I said earlier, full written out recipe is on my blog and there's a link in the description box down below to get to that. And all the ingredients are written out down there below as well. If you like my videos, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. All that good stuff helps the channel out, helps us to grow and spread more vegan recipes. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next week with another video. Bye. Mm -hmm.